Hello, and welcome back to the Rocket League map making tutorial series. This is episode 5, Uploading to the Workshop. Sorry it's been a while, I've been uh, doing other things. But they're back, and I'm going to be putting out a lot more. Because next I'm going to be going into Kismet, and there's a lot with Kismet to go over. But today I'm just going to show you how to upload to the workshop. So first thing I want to tell you is that all of the links used are in the Google Drive, as always. Um, and everything I'm going to explain is already on this site, the Rock on the Map Making website. Everything is in here. This is all I'm going to explain is in here. So if you want to go out at your own pace, you can go in here. But this is basically what I'm doing. Let's start by explaining the things you need. You need an image. It's right here, actually. Image, PDF, and UD UDK file. So right here, if we go to... I have something called RL Publish Folders. And basically in here is everything I've uploaded. It's just easier to keep it all in one spot. So if I go to, I don't know, Decaball, there's Image, the VDF, and the UDK. Uh, Battlegrounds, same thing. A Bumps, Bathtub, anything in here. Shoe Map, it's all in here. Pit, okay. So I'm going to create a new folder in here name a tutorial and you'll be able to download this folder in the Google Drive so first thing we need to do is create the VDF that's just the easiest thing to do so the VDF file is just a text file in which you copy this text into it so I have something called the template which is basically just a VDF that's already set up so what I do is I just copy this and tutorial and paste it into there and then I'd like to rename it so the beginning starts with the folder. And you'll see why in the future, but this is how I name everything. And then if we go into this VDF, which is again just this text here, you can see that everything is explained right here. And what this does is it's going to tell um, Steam CMD, which is how you upload the workshop, it's going to tell it where everything is. So don't touch the app ID, the publish field leave it how it is, or the publish file ID, leave it. The content folder, so where the map is. So I'm gonna go grab tutorial, which is down here, version two. And then we're gonna go back to the folder. And we're gonna paste it in there. And then I'm just gonna rename this just tutorial series. You can rename any UDK file. Um, just make sure it's not open in UDK when you rename it, but you should be able to rename it just fine. So we're going to put, so we're gonna copy this directory and we're gonna paste it into the content folder right there because that's where the map is. So next is the preview file. So the preview file is the map, is the image that shows up when you upload the map. I don't really know how to explain it, but Basically, Pajinko, that image that you see, or I like Decaball the most. Once you see this image, this is the image that you see when you go browse the workshop. So if we go, okay, so the Rocket League workshop, you can see all these images. This is what the PNG is. So this is the image you see. And if you click on it, it'll show up full screened. If you don't add any images, or if you add images like I like to, you can see that it's over here. It's the main image. Okay. So I'm not going to go make an image, but just make sure there are two parameters you need to make sure. You need to make sure it's, if you want 16 by 9, it's 640 by 360 resolution, which is also on the website already. And it has to be less than two megabytes. And that's really small. Sometimes it'll bug out if it's less, more than two megabytes. So. Uh, that's where this website comes in, compressing images. Um, this is in the episode 5 links, so you can compress all the images you want. And this will, it does a really good job of keeping the quality but decreasing the size. So let's go back, open everything back up. Okay, so next the preview file. Um, I actually am going to use, so I actually have a placeholder image. 
Um, this is for if I'm testing stuff or don't have a thumbnail for something. It, this is the image I use. So it's just text with a logo on the back. So it's 640 by 360. So I'm just gonna copy that image and put it in the tutorial. Okay. And then I am going to rename the image from placeholder to tutorial. Not tutorial K, okay, just tutorial. It's good to keep everything the uh it's good to keep everything the same name. It makes everything easier. So right here, it's a preview file, paste it, and then you need to type the directory of the image. So it's called tutorial.png. We add a slash tutorial png. Visibility, I'm gonna put the two. That means it's friends only. Um no, that means it's hidden. One is friends only, two is hidden, three is unlisted. So I'm going to make it hidden. I don't want anyone to see it. Actually, I'm going to make it unlisted because uh, I'm going to share it right here so you can take a look at what everything is if you want to. So for the title of the map, this is what's going to show up as the titles. So I'm just going to name it tutorial upload description. Uh, it's just the description. So welcome to the tutorial series. Uh, I would recommend you not write out your entire subscription in here because sometimes if let's say I hit enter and I type all the way down here or whatever, it might bug out a little bit. So just make sure to write your description after. And what I do for descriptions, I have a text file in here called description backup. And it has every description that I've ever made in here. So if I ever need to re-upload it, because when you re-upload it, it will wipe your description with whatever's here. So if you put it here, you can just copy it all and then paste it back if you need to update it for any reason. So description backup is a good thing to have unless you do everything right the first time, which I never do. And then for the change note, this one doesn't really matter. No one looks at the change notes, but uh, And then we're just going to put a change note here because I'll show you where the change notes are. Okay. And then we have that ready so we can exit out of that. And then I'm going to recopy the directory because I'm pretty sure I already have a copy, but I'm just going to double check. And then we're going to open Steam CMD. So if you don't have Steam CMD, it's in the installer script. You can also install it online. But if you, once you install it, it'll show up in a folder. And you're going to want to go to steamcmd.exe and you can start that. I have a shortcut in our published folders that just goes straight to it. So uh, it, I can just easily manage everything here. So to start, CMD is just a command console for Steam. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna log in. So you do login, username, password, and 2FA code if you have it. And when you do this, you wanna make sure you're with Steam because if you have Steam open while you do this, it will, it will bug things out a lot. So you just do login, username, password, 2FA. If you get it wrong, it'll say failed login with result code, invalid password. So I'm gonna log in real quick. All right, so I have logged in and you should say logged in okay, waiting for user info, okay. And that means you're logged in. So next you wanna do workshop underscore build item. And that is again, right here. This is all I'm doing. And then workshop build item and then paste the directory. So this directory that we have right here. And then we're gonna do slash tutorial.vdf. So you just need to reference the VDF file. And this is why it's nice to have everything the same name because you can check for spelling errors and you don't need to flip back back and forth if you haven't named something else. It's just everything's the same name. So we hit enter and it'll go through the process of uploading it. Um, it will, t depending on the amount of time it takes, depends on how big the map is and how good the internet is and how close you are to Steam servers. Um, so I think we were here is a gigabyte and that took a good five minutes to upload. So uh, this is only, let's see, how big is it? This is only 32 megabytes, so it went really quickly. 
So it'll say uploading preview image, committing update success. And right here, if you go uploading preview image, you might get an error saying it's over two megabytes. Uh, that means you need to compress it. Or if you've already compressed it, you need to compress it more. And then once you're done, quit. Type quit. Don't hit the X, type quit. And then we're good. So we're gonna go back into Steam and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we're back in Steam. So in order to view it, you're gonna go to view my profile up in the top right. Workshop items. Workshop items. And right here, you should see your map. Here it is, tutorial upload. You can see it is called tutorial upload. Here, let me open back the VDF again. So if you open the VDF again, you might see that the publish file ID is here. This is the same ID that you get when you download it into 2529.50. So right here, if we were to download this, the folder would be called this. And then everything uploaded correctly, obviously, because we have it right. And we can go to visibility. You can see it's unlisted because that is what we set. So 0, 1, 2, 3, that's what these are. And then you can see tutorial upload. That's what it's called. Welcome to the tutorial series is the description and the change note. If you look here, change note here, that's what this is. And every time you upload a new a version, it'll say update at whatever time you did it and change note here or whatever change note you put there. All right, next I'm gonna talk about descriptions. There's not much to talk about with the descriptions. There's a few things you might, you need to remember to put, which is mutators. Always remember mutators. Um, if there's no mutators, I always just put none. It's a standard map or something like that. Just make sure you know, you tell people what mutators are and make sure it's very easy to see. And then we can also do stuff with text formatting. So you can do all the commands. And if you don't know what the commands are, you can go here at this website in episode five links, text formatting. And you can follow all of this. So what I just did is the header text. That's H1. And then this goes up to H3. So if I do H2, hello slash H2. And then I do H3, hello slash H3. And then if I want to do bold, I can do B, hello slash B, italics, I, hello slash I, pretty sure what it is. But you can, uh, you can follow all of these that you want. And everything here is good because this is Steam, no longer modding, this is just Steam. And then if we save that, make sure you save it. Back to item, you can see it does mutators none, and it does the three different hellos, bold, and italics. And then you can add links to whatever you want. That's it for this episode. I will see you in the next episode when we start talking about the basics of Kismet.